my name is Chef Harpal Singh Soki and I am showing you actually healthy food. He is defining the Ayurvedic element. Now, who is he? He is Dr. Omkar. He is an authority in Ayurvedic food. Ayurvedic food, it is here. Ayurvedic principle, it I'll is here. I'll give it to me, yeah. So, he is defining what I am cooking and he is connecting them what Ayurveda will do to us with the recipes that I am doing, okay. So, I am doing some great recipes, call them healthy, you call them lifestyle, you call them uh, whatever you want to call them, but they are doing good to everybody who is a chef in India actually I would say and especially who is thinking that Indian food is mm, okay, no, I am here to tell you that Indian food is the food backed by lot of principles of science, lot of principles of lifestyle, Ayurveda and tradition, legacy, everything. So what I am doing today doctor is, I am cooking a fish which is a nice sea fish, okay, with, yeah, you can use a river water fish also, I mean it's nice and sweet and I am cooking with, it with flaxseed chutney. Now this flaxseed is something which is so much talked about these days, flaxseed oil, flaxseed powder, flaxseed this and I am saying I am doing something which is straight, which we will all love doing it in India especially when you can eat it with anything. It's good for cardiac patients, high blood pressure uh, and I don't know what all. It's going to give you weight loss, it's going to give you a healthy skin, a good hair and over, over Not our, mine of course, not mine. It is going to give you a, a good fat loss. Fat loss also? Yes. Wow. So, we will come to the chutney a little later. First, let me marinate the fish here. I have got uh, great fillets of fish and what I am going to do is quickly cut nice cubes here straight of fish. Whatever fish that you get back in your country or in your area or location that you are staying, use that and I am using great fillets here, wow, look at this, straight and this is fantastic, should be no bones in here, so take care of that, very important. What I am going to do is, I have got kokum. Oh wow. Okay, that's fantastic. It's a very, it, it's, it's something which is a souring agent which is used mostly in coastal. the western coastal areas. They use it for probably cooling one, you know, as a coolant drink in summers. That's what I know very well. They mix it with coconut, they just mix it with sugar syrup, have it just like that. The extract of this uh, little uh, piece of cocum that I have. Hmm? And, and here you are using for uh, digestion. Yeah. Achha, here we are using for digestion. Yeah. Okay. So, so apart from flavor, it's going to help in digest the fish. Okay. Okay. So, hokum, digestion. That's what I'm going to do. First, mix the hokum with little water and crush it. Wow. Crush it well to a nice paste. And then, I will strain this extract into the fish. Oh wow, to yes. Get, yes, superb, superb. To get the sourness into the fish. Baji, but you know this sourness is not going to bother our bodies. Oh. Sourness of uh, pomegranate uh -huh. and sourness of kokum. Uh -huh. Though they are sour, uh -huh. and you will get many flavors out of it in your food, uh -huh. they are not going to bo bother your body, the Ill, Ill effect of sourness, won't, okay. you won't feel. Fantastic. So, here is the kokum and... Mm. So, this is what I am going to do. Wow. The pulp of kokum into this and next few things so that we start loving this whole thing up. Okay. Some Indian flavors, ginger garlic paste, one large tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Mm -hmm. To say about, you know, I have used boneless fish to the, uh, to the tune of around 500 grams of boneless fillet. Is that what I have used? Some salt to taste in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. One teaspoon of chili powder. Okay. One teaspoon goes in here. Turmeric, one fourth teaspoon. And just mix this up. Yes. So, now, as you heard 
doctors say that sourness of cocum here, the usage of cocum is only going to help you digest this fish. So this is not so heavy a dish, but flaxseed I'm telling you is a little heavy to digest. If you just eat it like that, it will pass out of your system straight out, no benefits. So you need to powder it, crush it and then use it. So this one, marinate of this fish is ready, leave it for half an hour. So I'm going to leave it for half an hour. In the meanwhile, do the flexi chutney. For the flexi chutney, very simple, some sesame oil. Wow. Two tablespoons mm -hmm. goes in to the pan and use some garlic. Here, got around eight to 10 cloves of garlic. All you need to do is crush them. Just crush them. You don't even need to chop them. Just crush it. So with flake seeds, garlic, all antioxidant diet. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. And if you want a nice round fish, which gives you nice omega-3 fatty acids, great. Fantastic health food we are talking about here. And that's what I want to build. So, so Baji, health and uh, yeah. uh, food palatability can go hand in hand. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, food is health for me. So I try to bring in everything that is healthy into the system here. Garlic, some red chilies into this and some green, green chilies, chilies if you want to and flax seeds. That's what the chutney would be made of. Okay. But first, the garlic needs to be little brown well so that when you grind the chutney, you don't make a paste out of it. Okay. Okay, that's important. Yeah. That's very important. So, saute the garlic until light brown. That's that's very important. Garlic, flake seeds, fish, all food for heart. Yes, absolutely. Fish, flake seed um, helps you form long chain fatty acids in your system. Hence, you don't worry about your LDL aspect of it. Yes. So, it gets consumed. Nothing to worry here. So, great food and great science happening here, backed by Dr. Omkar's, you know, experience. That's turning brown, yeah. That's now getting brown. So what we need to do is at this point of time, if you want to make it spicy, mm -hmm. you can add more chilies. I'm using Kashmiri chilies here, six to eight of them. Mm. So if you want it more spicier, you can definitely make it more spicy, but Six to eight is good enough. We'll get you the nice tinge. Little bit of green chilies in this. Mm. Not much. Red chilies will balance out. Green chilies will add the spiciness also. Red chilies will give you the color. Now flex seeds here yeah. into this. Okay. Wow. Now flex seeds very important. I've realized all over is reduce the flame at this point of time because the flex seeds tend to pop out. And probably if you've added one cup, what you're going to get is just half a cup of the flex seeds. Very important to saute the flex seeds also because flex seeds have a little udder which people don't like it. Now this is what it's popping out. You can yeah. close the burner off, yeah. put the lid on top of this okay. so that even if the flex seeds pop up, they stay within and just kind of shake here so that they don't burn and keep it for some time so that the flex seeds saute well, they become a little crispier and it becomes better when you grind. So it crispier, it sure. crispier yeah. thing is all, again yeah. help us to yeah. get more out of it. Yes, yes. So I'm just closing this so that it does not pop it up, you know, and it remains with it. Keep shaking in between so that the flex seeds don't burn. That's important. Still pops up. Yeah, it's still yeah. popping there. Flex seeds is like one cup of flex seeds is what I've added to this and let this kind of heat up, get ready. So now the flame is closed with the heat of the pan. The flex seeds will get roasted very well and then you need to grind them. And very important when you're making this chutney, I advise everybody not to use any other oil other than sesame oil. Wow. Other than sesame oil, no other oil I advise people That's to That's even use. healthier. Yes. Even healthier. Because you, you, you're talking health here, you're talking something which you want to give it to the world in a good form. So please advise them the right thing they should do.
Now this is fantastic, I tell you. Yep. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And this will stay in the homes of people for more than a month if they make and store it in an airtight bottle. Uh -huh. So they can use whenever, whenever, whenever they want. Whenever. Yeah. Now to this, I'm just going to add a little salt so that it helps in grinding better, okay? Mm -hmm. So around half teaspoon of salt to this. It's only helping you to grind the thing. No water, no nothing. Straight away, grind this up. But because this is hot and it's not cooled up, so what you need to do is protect yourself and grind it to a coarse powder. Okay. Hot, hot even from this, the heat and the steam can be felt. See, it's really hot. Yes. So open it up. If you're grinding it hot, open it up and then put the lid back, grind it again. At home, you should cool this up, bring it to room temperature and then grind to a coarse powder like this. Wow. Okay. So this becomes absolutely fantastic. Yes. And I tell you, once again, I remove this so that there are no seeds in here. The whole flex seeds should not be there. They should get coarsely ground. So just turn around a bit. Mm. Get the great flavor. Eh? Smelling good. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I tell you, as the world is evolving, we all coming to know of ancient things more than the modern things. Yeah. So that's it, Doc. And this is ready okay. for me. The flexi chutney is ready. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Look at look at this powder. Now this is amazing. Smells good. The chili, it's hot. So remember to protect yourself. Mm. Beautiful. Valuable, eh? Yeah. So just remove everything of this. Yes. Now this is the valuable chutney that is ready. You can just pop up a spoonful of this every day. It yeah. will keep you healthy. Yes. Lot of antioxidants. Helps you in cardiac issues, yes. high blood pressure, yes. uh, LDL lowering, everything. I'm not endorsing them, but I'm saying that it helps you in Definitely. getting you to your... I'm saying, I'm not endorsing it, but I'm saying that it helps you in getting all the lifestyle diseases right. If you use it every day and work out without workout i don't endorse anything okay so this is ready now we'll coat the fish with this and grill it so i've got the chutney ready the fish sitting in the marinade for 30 minutes now quickly let's take this whole thing up and make a crust of the fish but before that we need to put this beautiful piece of yeah. chutney that we have made nice coarse chutney very good for your health now what you need to do is first heat this pan up i'm not pouring too much of oil very little oil don't need too much of oil very little oil in here and take each of the fish here mm. just dab it with this chutney turn it around wow and press it nicely and what i'm going to do is just take this Simple. Neat. Just keep it in here. And I want to cook it on a slow flame. Control the heat so that I don't burn my chutney. The, the top crust should become a little more crispier, but not burn. Okay. So here, the red chili, which I've used, should not burn. That's very important. Otherwise, right. you'll get the bitter flavor. Taste, of course, it's amazing. I'm telling you, people who have eaten this chutney, what I've made, have gone like crazy about it and I tell you, you can't resist beat, it. Yeah, you can't beat anything better than this in terms of health. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Nice. So this is how you need to make the crust and coat the fish with this flexseed here. Okay. Cook it on slow flame. Mm -hmm. Cook it in slow flame. Don't need to rush. 
don't even need to turn the fish around all you need to do is turn it just once okay because if you flip it over time and again you will kind of lose the coating okay very important okay, okay? and slow flame slow flame absolutely if you have an oven better put it in the oven wow. better put it in the oven okay and if you are doing in a pan like this then be careful slowly don't rush just let it settle huh? just let it settle and fish does not take too much time to cook mm -hmm. uh, probably if you are using a sea bass or something like that internationally sea bass gets cooked like this okay and for sea bass if you can coat sea bass with this flex seed it's amazing it's amazing i'm telling you i've done that during my international travels and absolutely beautiful and this is this is kind of snacking this is main course just it eat anything. it yeah. anything the the chutney itself is so good yeah. uh, the marinade that we have used has the ayurvedic principle science of it beautiful absolutely beautiful now this is the time when i will flip uh, this over carefully mm. ah wow. see the nice crust beautiful cook it slowly mm -hmm. and reduce the flame don't rush just reduce the flame fish will get cooked automatically because fish does not take too much time to cook so you need not bother the fish too much except that the crust should become little crispy okay don't burn the crust become let it become crispy like how you see here yeah yeah it's nice and crispy little bit of crusting is like you know roasting has happened here yeah fantastic it'll only add value and taste to the whole thing up okay you can cover this put it in the oven best put it in the oven so just to serve this i'm just giving you simple things this being so good so good a dish you don't need to bother the fish too much all you need to do is put some lime if you want to this is almost done here and what i'm going to do is right on the plate right on the plate wow simple things tasty things yep and this is what this dish is all about this is how you going to cook the rest of the fish make a crust beautiful it's so simple that i am full of health and i, I don't think You're so just making it yes <laughs> I'm, i'm telling you i don't think so anybody in the world will miss making this in their homes little effort this flex seeds in india are also called alsi yes. so alsi is available easily in the shops and all over the world it's absolutely easily available because one of the most sought after seeds i would say currently in the country in terms of health factors you've heard the ayurvedic health benefits of this i'm saying it's healthy it's tasty i'm endorsing it you just need to cook it